We all know that we can customize the look of our Android home screens, right? But did you know that we can also make system level tweaks that can not only seriously improve the look of our phones, but also the functionality? Well, for today's video, I've got 20 super powerful applications, none of which require root access that you can use to level up your entire smartphone experience. Starting with Eqify, which is a really handy app that lets you improve your phone's audio. With the app installed, anytime any audio related content is playing on your phone, you can just open up Eqify, browse through their presets or create your own if you like, and that'll immediately apply the EQ to your phone speakers, which can have a significant impact on how good they sound. And if your phone speakers aren't loud enough, you can also just increase this gain slider here and that'll instantly make them louder. Now staying in the world of audio for another minute and next up we have volume control panel and this app doesn't change anything related to the audio playing on your phone, it instead lets you replace your phone's system volume panels with highly customizable versions. You just grant the app some permissions, select from any of the themes and that's it. Now whenever you press your phone's volume rockers, you'll see your customized versions. And if you thought customizing your volume panels was cool, how about customizing your phone's always on display by adding this real-time charging meter? Well, you can do exactly that using an app called Ampere Flow. There are a range of customizations that you can make within the app settings, and then you just plug your phone in, and just like that, your custom always on display will show, which will let you see live Ampere readings so that you can monitor your phone's charging speed. And then if you also want an easier way to monitor any downloads your phone might be performing, then you can do exactly that using Noti Progress Bar. With the necessary permissions granted, anytime you download something from anywhere, like an app from the Google Play Store or a file from your browser of choice, you'll see this nifty little animation around your selfie camera showing you the progress of that download. All right, whilst we're talking about our phone's selfie camera hole punch, did you know that we can actually transform that very area on our phone into essentially a mini app launcher? All we need to do is install an app called Notcher, and once it's set up, you just tap your phone's hole punch camera and you'll then be greeted with a scrollable horizontal list of your favorite apps accessible from anywhere and at any time. Or if you're looking for a way to make your selfie camera even more powerful, then you can instead use Action Notch, which gives you up to five different gestures that you can set up to activate a variety of actions. So I've got a single touch setup to turn on and off my phone's torch. I've got a double touch setup to launch the camera app. I've got a long touch setup to open Spotify and then a swipe left and a swipe right to skip to the previous and next tracks respectively. But you can obviously change these to suit your own needs. But let's say you don't like the idea of smudging up your phone's selfie camera, well then you can instead use an app called Edge Gestures to unlock the same sort of functionality, but with your phone's system side swipe gesture. So again, you can make it so that swiping in from the left and holding will turn on or off your phone's flashlight or that doing the same thing but from the right takes a screenshot. You could also make it so that swiping up and left switches to your previously used app or that swiping down and on the left opens up your favorite application. And as you can see, there are a stack more options to choose from as well. Just make sure that you enable this prior to system gesture option within the app settings if you wanna have the most seamless experience. And then another app that lets you level up how functional the sides of your phone are is Edge Control. With this app installed and set up, we can control both our phone's volume and display brightness just by swiping on either the left or right edges of our screen, which is a seriously intuitive way to control what are probably two of the most commonly adjusted settings on our phones. Okay, from there, I wanna showcase two really amazing apps, but the caveat is that they both currently only work on Samsung phones, so just keep that in mind. The first of which is called Depth Effects Wallpaper, and this is an app that I featured in this month's top Android apps video as well, but if you missed that, then this essentially provides a super easy way to replicate iOS's lock screen depth effect, but on Samsung phones. The app essentially automatically masks any foreground element that it detects in your chosen images, and then it places a clock and date widget behind it, which you can then customize as you like. And then because Samsung phones let you disable the lock screen clock, that means that within just a few clicks, you now have your very own depth effect lock screen, which then just becomes a regular looking wallpaper when you unlock your phone. And then in a completely different direction, we have Galaxy Max Hertz, which is an amazing app that actually lets you modify your display's refresh rate. 
Now, the most obvious way that you might wanna use this app is to force your phone to maintain its max refresh rate all the time, even in apps that don't normally support doing that, like Google Maps, for example. But then another way that you might wanna use it is to save battery, which you could achieve by instead setting the refresh rate to adaptive, and then by limiting the range to between two lower refresh rate levels. And there is a bunch of other tweaks that you can make use of as well. All right, halfway through the list and the next five apps all share one thing in common. They all require ADB permissions to be granted via the Shizuku app. Now I've spoken about Shizuku countless times on the channel now, but in short, it's an app that essentially acts as a middleman between third party applications and your phone's system APIs. So instead of having to grant ADB or super user permissions to any number of apps that require it, all you need to do is grant permissions once to Shizuku, and from there on out, it can grant those ADB permissions requested by any other supported third-party app for you. It's really, really cool, and if you're into system customization, then it is a serious must-have. And the first app that takes advantage of the Shizuku app is an app called Shizu Tools, which is essentially a hub for a bunch of really handy Shizuku enabled features all within the one interface. There's this mixed audio tool that allows you to set things up so that you can have audio playing from multiple apps at the same time. Or you've also got this sound master tool, which allows you to control how loud the audio output is on an app by app basis. And there's even a system debloater tool, which allows you to uninstall system applications. But let's say you don't wanna take things as far as uninstalling system apps. Well then Hail is a much simpler app that allows you to just hide them instead. You just select any apps on this list, including system apps, if you enable them, and then back on this homepage, you just tap the freeze icon, and there you go. Those applications will be completely hidden from your phone's home screen and app drawer. Then we've got an app called Install with Options, which actually unlocks a bunch of advanced actions related to the installation of apps on your phone. So you get options to bypass Android 14's target SDK limit, meaning you can install apps that are outdated and normally don't work. You can even downgrade certain app packages or get the app to grant all requested permissions automatically immediately after it's installed. Plus, there's a heap of other options as well. And then we have an amazing app that I install on pretty much every phone I use called System UI Tuner, which unlocks a bunch of system level mods for your phone. So for example, you can use the app to hide pretty much any icon in your phone status bar. You can also use it to disable the system safe audio warning or to customize various UI system sounds. You can even set custom device lock timeout durations or change which radios should be disabled when toggling your system airplane mode. Plus there's a huge amount of tweaks on top of those as well. And then finally, for our Shizuku enabled app section, we have LS Patch. And for anyone who's heard of the LS Posed or Exposed frameworks, both of which require root access, well, LS Patch essentially lets us use a bunch of LS Posed or Exposed modules without having to root our phone. Now, not all LS Posed or Exposed modules will work, so keep that in mind. But to get you started, I've left a link to some modules that do work down in the description below. The only thing to keep in mind is that to get the modules to work, you need to manually replace each application that you want to be affected with the LS patched versions. So it can be a little annoying to get things set up, but certainly worth it depending on the patch that you're trying to use. Okay, to wrap up the video, I'm gonna show off five different applications, all of which allow you to automate various system level components on your phone. And we'll kick things off by starting with a super simple automation related app called Timed Shutdown. As the name implies, this app simply lets you schedule your phone to power off. You just select the method your phone uses to switch off. So for me, it's this one click option. Then you line up this gesture button with where the system power off button is, and there we go. Now we can come to this timer page here and set a timer duration, which I'll set at two seconds for the purpose of this video. Then hit start. And once that timer runs out, it'll activate my phone's power dialog automatically and then tap the power off button for me. Then if you wanna automate how your phone handles notifications, then Buzzkill is a seriously phenomenal app that makes it super easy to do so. So let's say you wanna set it up so that you don't receive notifications from social media apps on the weekend between the hours of nine to 5 p.m., then you can set up exactly that and Buzzkill will then dismiss any of these notifications automatically for you. Or if you want certain notifications to make a sound even when your phone is set to silent, then again, Buzzkill can do exactly that. 
Then we have what most people would consider the three kings of automation apps, Automate, Macro Droid, and Tasker. All three apps offer really crazy levels of automation, but each have their own strengths and drawbacks depending on what you're after. Macro Droid is probably the app that I would recommend to anyone just starting out as it has the best user interface of the lot, making it much more approachable in regards to setting up automations, but it's still more than powerful enough for nearly any task that you can think of. Automate on the other hand, might seem a little more complex on the surface, but it's for those who prefer a more graphical representation of their tasks as it uses a flowchart based interface, which for some can definitely be more intuitive. It also offers stacks of options for automations though, all the way from the very simple to the very, very complex. And then finally, we have Tasker, which is widely considered to be the best of the lot when it comes to creating highly complex automations, but it's also got the steepest learning curve thanks to its somewhat outdated and clunky interface. It is also fairly dependent on external plugins, which could be seen as a positive or a negative, but if you're a power user looking for nearly limitless options when it comes to automations and Macro Droid and Automate aren't quite doing it for you, then Tasker is hands down the way to go. But there you have it, 20 incredibly powerful applications that unlock some amazing system level customizations for your phone. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. But that's it, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.